Just like our iPhones, the Apple Watch is actually extremely advanced and very capable to do a lot of things that I bet you, you weren't expecting it to be able to do. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a handful of my favorite tips and tricks and some hidden features that you could do with an Apple Watch. Now, even though this one in particular happens to be the Apple Watch SE 2, it's the 44 midnight version in case you're curious. Majority of these features can be found on the Series 8 and older Apple Watches, including the Apple Watch Ultra. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started with number one, and that is ChatGBT. I have Siri replaced with automated intelligence, and both actually work pretty well in harmony. So to show you a preview how this works, basically if I ask Siri, when was the Apple Watch first unveiled? I found this on the web. Siri will, of course, give us access to web browsers, a couple articles, links that can actually peruse and find the answer for ourselves, like Wikipedia, which is not really a well-trusted source. But if I say Siri Pro, when was the Apple Watch first unveiled? Question mark. Apple unveiled the Apple Watch on September 9th, 2014. Siri literally gave us the answer that we were looking for right there without me having to search the websites. So if you'd like to know how to install AI Siri, you can go ahead and check out that video right over there. But don't click on it just yet as I got, hey Siri, shut up, before I got rudely interrupted by Siri. Uh, don't click on that video just yet because I'll have it at the end card at the end of this video, as well as linked in the description. But the setup procedure, it's really easy and it's really amazing due to the fact that Siri actually works. Now, since we are using an Apple Watch SE, a feature that's missing is the full keyboard. It allows us to actually type our message right here on the display without using dictation or scribbles. So you don't have to verbally tell, speak out loud a message. So unfortunately there's no way to actually fix this, but there is a third party app you could download which gives you keyboard capabilities and that is FlipType. FlipType keyboard, it's free to download. There are paid stuff you can buy, but it's not really necessary. But as you see right here, it gives us keyboard capability. You can type in any message right here. It also supports swibbles as well as auto correction as well. You can always do. And then once you're about to send a message, you can just tap the send icon right here, tap on the contact and just hit send. It will immediately send a message to the person you're trying to communicate with. And the cool thing about flip type, it actually does support third party apps. So for the third trip, if you want to watch like a YouTube video or something like that, you can actually do so on the Apple Watch. The app of choice I personally prefer using is WatchTube, which allows you to watch not just your favorite YouTuber right here on the best YouTube channel on the platform when it comes to making informative videos, like how to install AI Siri on your Apple Watch. You click on it right here. The video loads in no time and it actually plays audio with the external speakers on your Apple Watch. So WatchTube is the app I like to use when it comes to watching YouTube videos on your wrist in case you don't have your phone or you're in class or something like that. And you have keyboard access with flip type that you can use to search up YouTube videos right here. Another great app that I recommend watch, uh, being aware of at least is TickWatch. Basically allows you to view TikTok on your Apple Watch. But if you actually like to plug in like a pair of Bluetooth headphones, it doesn't have to be the AirPods. Of course, you could bring up Control Center and then go into the AirDrop icon and select your pair of AirPods right here. But if you don't have AirPods, you have third-party Bluetooth headphones, don't worry. If you scroll all the way to the very bottom, connect a device, you can search with a Bluetooth network. So as long as that mode, that device is on discover mode, you can connect to it and listen to a non-Apple device earbuds and have it connected directly to your Apple Watch. Now every Apple Watch has a built-in storage. The SE has 32 gigabytes. If you like to install your music playlist, super easy to do so. You do require, it is required for you to launch the main app on your iPhone for your Apple Watch and scroll down to where you find music. Here you can actually click on playlist and add the playlist right here and it'll actually install it onto the internal storage of your Apple Watch. Now if whatever said reason, let's say, your iPhone screen is not responsive, the screen is shattered. You can actually control your iPhone with your Apple Watch and it's super easy to do so. So I'm gonna place my iPhone right here. You do need to go into your settings and just scroll all the way down to accessibilities and go down to where you find control nearby devices, select your iPhone name. And just like that, you have full capability. Let me unlock this face ID to control your iPhone off your wrist right here. And you can actually add more commands as well. Pause and play, volume up and down, as well as custom gestures as well. This is perfect to do if, let's say for example, again, your iPhone's not responsive or you're doing a presentation and you have your iPhone connected via 
AirPlay. But now let's say your Apple Watch screen chatter or just it's not responsive. You need a way to control your Apple Watch. If you go on your iPhone settings and you scroll all the way down to accessibilities and just go ahead and look for mirror Apple Watch and you will be able to control your Apple Watch with your iPhone display. You can actually screen record on your iPhone to actually capture the screen footage of your Apple Watch. Now, if you have a passcode enabled on your Apple Watch, you can actually use this passcode to actually unlock your Mac computer, or you can allow your iPhone to unlock your passcode on your Apple Watch. To do the computer option, all you have to do on a Mac, go on the Apple logo on the very top left-hand corner, and from here, go into passcode and touch, and look for your Apple Watch. Enable it, and in a matter of seconds, it'll be unlocked and synchronized. So next time when your MacBook is unlocked and you're nearby wearing your Apple Watch, it'll actually unlock your device. Now, if you want to do the same thing with your Apple Watch, allow your iPhone to unlock your Apple Watch. If you go on your iPhone settings and go into Face ID and Passcode, enter your phone's pa passcode, and then scroll down to where you find Unlock with Apple Watch, and just go ahead and enable the Apple Watch that you're wearing. Turn it on, and now, Next time when you put on your Apple Watch and you unlock your iPhone, it will actually unlock the passcode on your Apple Watch so it can begin tracking your calories and stuff and you don't lose out on any notifications. Also makes a great alternative if you're wearing a face mask too and your iPhone has a hard time recognizing you or a full biker helmet. Now I'm sure we're all familiar with the Breathe Reminder app. It's a pro and a con. To most people, it's kind of annoying like myself, so I personally prefer disabling this. If you'd like to know how to disable it, just go on your settings on your iPhone, on your Apple Watch, I mean, and just scroll down to Mindfulness app. And here is where you can actually tr disable all the reminders or modify it to your own personal preference. And then of course, basic tricks. This layout, if you want to know how to quickly switch to, that was weird. If you'd like to know how to switch between this to the honeycomb layout, just long press anywhere on the display. You could swap like so. All personal preference, sometimes the honeycomb makes it easier to locate certain apps. And sometimes looking at the alphabetical grid, actually list form allows me to actually locate apps faster. But knowing these two methods allow, makes it easier for when it comes to navigating and opening new apps. Now, if your Apple Watch ever is acting weird or funny, uh, double tapping will allow you to go back to the previously open app, of course, but if you long press on the power button and you hold down on digital crown once you get to the power offs page and you relaunch it, this will actually force close that app. So if there's an app that's acting funny, that's what you do. And of course, to hard reset your Apple Watch, just hold down the power button and the digital crown. This will force your Apple Watch to just hard reset in case it's not responsive. Now, I know this may sound ridiculous, but we should all be familiar with the Find My capability on our iPhone. By bringing up Control Center, tap here, it'll play a pin sound so you can actually locate your Apple, your iPhone faster. But if you long press, it'll toggle to flash so you can find it easier in a dark room. You'll be surprised how many people don't know about this feature. I'm glad that you may know, so I'm sick and tired of seeing those people leave the comments in the comment section saying I already knew that. Good for you. Many others don't. Now another amazing feature is the capability to quickly cover your Apple Watch to mute. By default, some Apple Watches don't have this feature enabled. So if you go into your settings and go ahead and scroll down to sound and heptics and scroll down to find cover to mute, make sure this is enabled. So now whenever you receive a notification and your Apple Watch is not on silent, uh, if you cover your wrist up for five seconds, you'll feel a heptic feedback vibration. And if you look back, you'll notice that your app watches in silent and future notifications are not gonna bug you. Now, a cool hidden feature that the Apple Watch has is that it can actually tell you the time by vibrating on your wrist. If you'd like to go ahead and enable this, just go into your Apple Watch settings. If you go into your settings and go into clock, where it says speak time, enable this. And I like to enable control with silent mode because on the tech tech time, if you tap digital using two fingers, so long as your Apple Watch is on silent, it will actually vibrate you the time. So you can actually feel what time is it. But if you take your device off from silent and you do the same thing with two fingers and you tap on the display. 11.37 AM. Siri will verbally read out loud the time. And lastly, if we actually take our iPhone and you launch the camera app, not only will the Apple Watch be the viewfinder for the camera app and will update in real time, but a nice cool hack is if you actually unbuckle your Apple Watch and put it in the back portion it's easier if you use like the Velcro strap, of course, the Velcro band, I'm using this metal one. And you launch the camera app one more time. You can actually use one of the better cameras instead of the front camera if you're trying to take like a group selfie with people and view it all right here on your display. 
and then take the photo right here. So this is like a nice little hack you could try whenever you're trying to get a group photo and try to fit everybody in frame while utilizing the best cameras that the iPhone has and that's the one that's facing the back. Not the front facing camera, the back cameras are the good ones. But aside from that, there you guys have it. Uh, if curious to know what Apple Watch I'm using in today's video. So of course this is the Apple Watch SE, aluminum body in the midnight color and I'm using a stainless steel band, which I feature in my accessory video. I'll have this band link in the description down below in case you're curious. Now, if you'd like to install that AI ChatGPT series, I go ahead and do the full video tutorial right over here, which go ahead and watch. Aside from that, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.